Hello everybody. Today we're going to be covering advanced metals in the furnace. We're going to be going over Invar, Electrum, and Constantine. As this was supposed to be a basic tutorial guide on how to get you self-sufficient, I am starting to run out of ideas. If you want me to cover something, let me know down in the comments and I'll go back and cover it. Or if you're looking for something a little bit more advanced and you'd like some help with it, let me know that too. I've also got some base showcases coming up, so make sure you hit the subscribe so you, you'll know when those are uploaded. I've gotten in contact with a few members on the Steam community who have kindly offered to allow me to come into their base and give us a walk around tour. If you have a base that you'd like to give, do a video tutorial of, let me know down in the comments and go over to the Discord and post it up on the Showcase Your Base channel. If you have one that you'd like to see a video tutorial that somebody else has, let me know that link and I'll go over and see if I can't get them to do a video tutorial. And now, back to the guy. Ah, uh, 10,000. Uh, I've been trying to hold off. I want to capture that hydrogen and all the rest of them gases, but... I guess we're not going to be able to. Not this time. Alright. So we have all our ores here. We want 50 silver. And 50 gold. And let's start with iron and nickel. So that is the hardest one iron and nickel and I'm gonna do a hundred uh, find no more nickel I'm gonna prep my ores close my mold I hope I didn't lose that down the Did I lose the nickel down the chute I don't know we've got look at that we got 50 nickel here and another 50 here so actually what I can do is get rid of this and I've got 50 iron and 50 iron and we're gonna go ahead and try to put in and see if it processes it doesn't so means it is too cold we're gonna take our oxide and split one activate that and I'm gonna take now I'm gonna just with the demonstration I'm gonna go ahead and just leave my oxide out I could if I wanted to uh, pump this in because this has hydrogen in it but I'm not gonna do it that way it is much easier to get an accurate uh, measurement With the however much easier to get an accurate measurement with the or uh, ice with them as ices so there's now we just need 50 more iron and we are slowly flushing this out I'm going to go ahead and flush out some more of this. Get it down around at least under 1 MPA. And then I'm going to just set that back to 1. So it slowly uh, continues to release the pressure. And I've got... So here I want it white hot. Or uh, sorry, oxygen rich. I'm going to do 1, 2, 3... Four, five, six, seven. And I'm going to grab my volatiles and go one, two, three, four, and iron and nickel. Now I'm going to pause real quick and double check. I need it to be under 7 MPA. 
So we've got the temperature and we've got a lot of temperature. So just a quick little wait and as soon as it hits, I would like it to go faster but I want to, I don't want to go up here and change this and not, and miss it. There's our NVAR. Let's dump our NVAR and there is 200 NVAR. That'll last a good while. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn that off we're not losing as much we're still losing some through the random atmosphere and now I want to do Constantine I need copper and nickel so there's some nickel we'll grab this copper and that nickel make sure the furnace is always empty Drop that there. We'll grab another copper, another nickel, and we'll keep an eye on it. Okay, now it's not, did not show. Um, so, what do we need? We need under 10 PA above a thousand degrees. So, as you see, we cooled off too much. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this back on to one liter and I'm gonna check contents here and we still got some unburnt oxygen we just need some hydrogen in there so I'm gonna only gonna split off one and I'm watching the temperature up in the top right it's minus 68 so we're good there And I'm going to split off one more volatile and we should be able to get above a thousand maybe one more and there it is uh, but now we're above 10 MPA so now we just need to come down a little bit on our pressure I'm going to speed that up just a little bit I want it to stay above a thousand degrees there's our Constantine now we'll go for electrum and solder solders very easy you just need to get the thing hot so I wouldn't even worry about solder um, if you're looking to get into advanced metals that's your first one to try out it's iron lead one-to-one -one ratio below 3.5 MPA uh, one um, one oxide and uh, one volatile should be able to get you hot enough uh, so what we're going to do now furnace contents make sure the molds closed put in uh, uh, sorry gold and make sure we grab batches of 50 and then we can go ahead and just drop that one on there hopefully it stays on there always batches of 50 and there's our gold and our iron uh, sorry silver and we need to be under 2.4 but above 700 degrees and we don't have a lot of time is it cools off so I'm gonna just up that real quick and what I can do is just turn that pump off so it slows down and then I'll drop it keeping it 2.4 as you can see there the pressure slowly leveled out and 2.4 and we're probably if we don't hurry it will cool off there we go so just go ahead and turn that off and we'll turn it back on real quick we got to be under 2.4 it's a very low pressure so four oxide and one volatile will get you in the range for Constantine if you want to just do Constantine and as you can see the temperature above around the uh, top right corner is 
going crazy. I am getting near the furnace. Come on, come on. We're almost there. It takes a little while to get down there. There we go. And that should be 200 electrum. And then you can throw in some solder as well if you want to do up some more solder. That's above 3.5, but only above 300 degrees, which is what, 30, 30, 40 degrees Celsius, something like that. It's 273. I know I mentioned in a previous video it was 280, but it's 273, 273.14 Kelvin to 0 C. If I'm wrong, just go ahead and let me know. Um, but now we're below 700 degrees, so what can we make here? We could still make steel, 3 to 1 copper, uh, 3 to 1 iron to coal. Uh, that only requires 600. We can, we can also, while we're at it, just melt everything. And for this, 22 gold, I'm going to go ahead and open that mold up. Now, iron is 900 degrees, silicone is 900 degrees, uh, everything else is 600, nickel is 800, and lead is 300, just smelting the raw metals, let's, uh, yeah, of course, alright, so how we, temperature is 8 degrees, the sun is up, so, we can't put any more oxide in there but what we can do is look in here and you see we have 5502 and 0.7 h2 i know that this back here has some eight hydrogen in it mostly hydrogen it's not complete uh, it's got a little bit of CO2 in there as well. So hope we might be able to, if we had, if we had captured some oxygen and hydrogen into separate tanks, and then we could feed this, and we'd be able to do this all day long. So there's no uh, fighting with the outside temperature. Am I out? Um. It used to have hydrogen in it, but I used it all up. So I could catch, uh, capture some more, like all that unburnt oxygen and unburnt um, hydrogen. And let's see what else is, do we have in there. Since we did smelt some other metals we should also have yes we have some n2o um there's also another gas you can create depending on i can't i can't remember what exactly it is um let's see if it has it on here no it shows it in the arc furnace on the wiki but it doesn't show it here uh if you smelt silver you would get a different gas result um, you could also take a gas canister take uh, right out of your welder right here and just dump that into here and it's since it's already a two to one mix and hook that up and I can smelt a whole bunch of gases but you better have a way to refill that you're on the moon, that's easy. Put in a pa an active vent, drop some oxide, drop some, drop some volatiles on the ground, and you can vacuum it up and refill your tank. And you can even do that to, uh, for the furnace. So you do not have to uh, worry about whether or not it's daylight. You can just So there's our electrum. Oh, and we're going to take our electrum and we're going to drop it down in here. We're going to take our Constantine and we'll drop that in. And get some Envar. 
we make anything else? We did not. We'll go I'll take some nickel too. Nickel's used for a few things. Not many. Iron, uh, silver, I don't think is used for anything. There might, I think maybe the hard suit takes a couple pieces of silver, but don't quote me on that. Uh, but for the most part, you won't need silver other than to make Constantine. There, I'm sorry, silver to make some electrum. That's all I have for today. Let me know down in the comments what you want to see next. This is starting to turn out to be a Let's Play. So if you don't want to see a Let's Play and you want to see more tutorials, as this was just supposed to be a basic starting tutorial, to get you started into self-sufficiency once you're self-sufficient i'm going to let you on your own so you can build whatever your dreams desire so if you want another tutorial about something let me know specifically what you want to see next and until next time happy stationering